story short number 29. Kids, hurry up. Get your phones on so we can go to the pool, Mom yelled up the stairs. I've been ready for the last hour, Jennifer said. It's Jason's fault. He's trying to get to a new level in Pac-Man so he doesn't even have his swim trunks on yet. And he drank all the tang again, so I didn't get any. So help me God, I'm going to smash that Atari with a hammer, Mom grumbled, then yelled up the stairs. Jason, get down here now. Jeez, Mom, Jason said. You don't have to yell, I can hear you. Do we have to go to Aunt Carol's today? It's an hour away and it's boring over there. What else are you going to do on a Saturday in July? Mom said, annoyed. You can watch reruns of Dallas anytime. It isn't every week that Aunt Carol invites us over to swim in her pool. Go get in the back of the truck before your dad gets mad. The metal truck bed was so hot it burned Jason's legs when he tried to sit down. Ow! Jason cried. Sit on your towel, dummy, Jennifer said, rolling her eyes. In the cab of the truck, Mom was going through the shoebox of eight tracks, looking for some music. Can you put on the Bee Gees, Jennifer begged, please? You only want the Bee Gees because you have the hots for Barry Gibb, Jason said. Mom, I want the Beach Boys. Shut up, Dad said, finishing off his can of tab and throwing the can out the window. Kids don't get to have an opinion. It's up to your mother what to put on. Hand me another tab out of the cooler. Jennifer rolled her eyes, opened the cooler, and passed her dad a can of soda. Mom chose an 8-track and put it in the player. The warbling tones of the carpenters drifted through the sliding window of the truck cab. It's even worse than Barry Manilow, Jennifer said. For once, it was something he and his sister could agree on. Jennifer tried to tune out the sound, but with the truck windows open, it didn't help much. They'd be listening to We've Only Just Begun for at least the next three minutes. Dad gunned the truck engine as they merged onto the highway, and the kids were thrown hard against the wheel well. Neither Mom or Dad looked back to see if they were okay. As they picked up speed, the wind blew against their faces so hard their eyes watered. Their hair blew straight back. It was the best part of the trip, as far as Jason was concerned. Woohoo! Jason shouted. What? Jennifer said. I said, woo-hoo! Jason shouted even louder, trying to yell over the sound of the blowing wind. Did you just say I need to poop? Jennifer shouted. What? Jason shouted. What? Jennifer shouted. Keep it down back there, Dad yelled as he threw his empty soda can through the cab window at the kids. Your mom's trying to listen to the carpenters in here. Jason couldn't wait to get to Aunt Carol's so he could get a long, cold drink from the hose. The hot sun was making him thirsty, but he knew better than to drink any of his dad's tab from the cooler. He wasn't in the mood for a whooping today.